Good morning, hello everybody. Today, we're gonna to talk about setup for the silkworms. There's 250 eggs in here, but we're not gonna use all of them, but you can have as many as you like. I have a Petri dish here that they came in, but if you have a lid, a plastic Tupperware, that works fine too. I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs, so I will have eight worms. Now, they will hatch at room temperature between 74 and 80 degrees. And it says here, it'll be seven to 10 days that it'll take for them to open up and start having little worms come out, okay? They change color as they start to warm back up, reach room temperature and start preparing to hatch. So you'll be able to see that if you look at it every day, okay? I'll also be including some of the mulberry food, okay? It has to be microwaved and and cooked and all that. I will prepare it for you and then leave this in a container for you to feed them twice a day, whenever you like. This is the powder I'm using. It came from Mulberry Leaves and I got it on Amazon. Um, it's really cheap and I already have enough for a next round, but you guys should have enough until they start eating mulberry leaves. When they start eating mulberry leaves, Miss Lauren has lots of neighbors who've offered to donate big bags of mulberry leaves and I will give you guys those mulberry leaves when they're, when they're harvested. The, the jaws of the silkworm can't really chew those right away, which is why they have essentially baby food first. It'll literally be a puree. Now to set up some bedding, they suggested using some egg carton because the egg carton is good for them as they get older and start getting ready to cocoon. It gives them a place to attach the, the cocoon to and safe little spaces for each of them. So if you have an egg carton left over, or even those um, cup holders from like a fast food restaurant, you can use those just fine. They've kind of got that mushy cardboard feel that these do. I'm just gonna cut off one carton, one little pocket there, and that's good enough for one worm. They also suggest some Tupperware because they're easy to clean out, or a plastic shoe bin, they suggested those. This is the one I'll be using. And then also these meat package trays. Now, until they're big enough worms after about two weeks, they'll live in this Petri dish or your Tupperware with a lid on, okay? When we feed them, we'll put the food right inside of here. And until it's gone, we don't have to fill up anymore. The second time of the day, if you want to put a little more to get them through the night, that's the perfect time to do that. When they are big enough to be transferred, you can put them in here, situate the egg cartons inside, put the mulberry leaves in, and I have the instructions for you just to see how often you need to feed them as they get older. There's going to come a point where they're just going to eat, eat, eat nonstop. But that, Miss Lauren will have lots of leaves for you. So if you guys are free today, you can start cutting up the egg cartons and you're gonna put lots of little pockets separately inside this container so they can choose where they want to sit. Everyone will get adjusted to a space and you may even find that they eat their food in that same spot. So you can put mulberry leaves on top. I usually leave the leaves whole and I lay the leaves all the way across the bottom of the container. And then they walk around, chew it up, as they please, and when it's time to clean up, you just take the whole leaf out and dump it. They do use the restroom, but the more padding you have on the bottom, the less cleanup you have to worry about. And that's only done about once a week. And if you've only got two or three eggs, two or three worms, it probably will be less than that. I gave you the instructions inside your pouches, so if you have any questions about that, we can review it together. You send an email to Miss Kayla and she'll get word to me. These can be laid in probably one right next to the other. Um, and then you can put food on one side, the cartons on the other. And I'll show you some pictures. I'll post them on Facebook about how it's going to look. They do get pretty uh, chunky. They get to be some big worms. Some can be the size of your child's thumb. All right. And for you kids, this is the part you can do to help out. When you get the mulberry leaves, you can tear them up and help with that. You can lay them down inside 
You can pick up the worms and move them as they need more space. They're very gentle creatures. They don't bite and they move very slowly. So you don't have to worry about lots of jumping around. Now that you're all done, situate your egg carton little buckets here all inside. Depending on how many you have, you won't need as many. But a lot of times it's nice for them to have places to crawl around and sit up on top of. They're not known to escape, so I wouldn't worry about that. But just giving them some nice bedding and a nice place to eat and snack and sleep is probably the best thing. When I used to do this as a kid with, in my classrooms, we always had a really large home for them. And you'll see that as they get bigger, they fill the space and fill the space. So it's a good idea to find something as large as you think you'll need right away so there's less moving around and switching off. Okay, next, we're going to prepare the food. Be right back. Okay, now we're ready to prepare the food. I have our half pound bag of mulberry powder right here, and it calls for three cups of hot water. One, two, and three. Then of course, we have to mix it really well. Essentially, we're making silkworm puree. This is what will be in the small containers that I will send home with you. Kind of looks like oatmeal, but it smells very, very fresh. It does smell like leaves from a tree outside. Consistency looks a little bit like starting oatmeal or even cream of wheat. If you have a mulberry tree in your neighborhood, start gathering those leaves. They can be kept in a Ziploc in the refrigerator. Consider them like lettuce. They'll last for about a week or two. I have tried to freeze them before. But it's important that you know how fast your worms eat because they have to be thawed out before they'll eat them. Okay, now that this is properly mixed, we're ready to put it in the microwave for about five minutes. Now that we've microwaved, our food for about three minutes just as it started to boil we can take the saran wrap off stir it one more time for consistency and then we're going to push it down we're going to push the the cling wrap right onto the food that nice toothpaste texture is just enough for them just like baby food. Now I'm going to take the cling wrap and I'm going to push it down inside. I'm going to sit it out to let it cool and then it can go in the refrigerator. Once you have it covered, you can put another one on top, but Miss Lauren will have this all prepared and ready for you guys in a container. You'll just leave it in the refrigerator and scoop it out as you need it. If you've only got two or three eggs, probably a tablespoon is enough, twice a day. Wow, that looks a lot like what I used to feed my little ones, the spinach, peas, and chicken. All right, we're off to the races. Our food is ready. Let me know if you'd like a set and I'll get you your eggs and your food. All right, any questions you have, let Miss Kayla know so she can get a hold of me. Enjoy your day. I'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.